Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This is a set based on games and tournaments. It says that there are seven football teams A, B, C, D, E, F, G. They participated in a tournament, and each team played with each every other team twice. And D won all of its games, and F lost all of its games. B and G scored equal points and are ahead of C. C, A, and E also scored equal number of points. Each team gets three points, one point, and no point for a win, draw, and loss, respectively. Okay, so that is the structure of the tournament. It's like a, a round robin league, double round robin league, you can say. And uh, apart from that, we are given that the information about two of the teams, and for the rest of the teams, we are given that how they scored. Uh, in the tournament okay so if we talk about this let us say uh, a b c d e f g okay so how many teams how many matches will a team play so there are seven teams so each team will play six matches into two times because each team played twice so each team will have 12 matches And what is the total number of matches? So, 7C2 into 2. That is 21 into 2. That is 42 matches in the tournament. Now, this is an important piece of information that we need to keep in mind. That there are 42 matches and each team plays 12 matches. So, you can calculate this way also, right? So, there are 12 matches per team and 7 teams. So, that are 84 matches, right? But in every match, like if we are counting a b we are counting b a also so we need to divide by 2 to get 42 okay now if we talk about win loss or the third case is draw okay so for d we know d has 12 wins there is no loss right and we'll write the points also so points will be 36 points similarly for uh, f F lost all its matches there are 12 losses and there are no draws so it has zero points okay now for how many other matches can we determine their results see for a we know that a won two matches against F because F lost all its matches a lost two matches so at least we know two win two loss this is something that we can say that these are the confirmed matches okay we are not putting all the matches we we are just putting the confirmed matches okay similarly b won two matches against f and b lost two matches to d c e and g right so all these teams will win two matches and will lose two matches okay that is confirmed matches so how many confirmed matches do we have so this is 12 12 plus 10 we have 22 confirmed matches okay 22 matches are confirmed we know the results of these matches and how many matches are unknown unknown there are 20 matches because there are total 42 matches of these we know the result of 22 matches why 12 matches for d for when right 12 for uh, like we can think like this also d and f you will say 24 matches and d and f play two times so remove those two common matches so for 22 matches we know the results we are not sure about the 20 matches okay apart from that what is the condition given that d won all its games so d will have the highest total right that is 36 then uh, f lost all its matches so f it has last then b and g scored equal points and are ahead of c so d is ahead of b and g let us say they have x points each and they are ahead of c c a e also scored the same number of points so c is equal to a is equal to e let us say they have y points each and then it is greater than f which has zero points okay so that is the number of points of these teams 
that is the number of points right now we are we do not know the values of x and y and what we are given we are asked question what is the least possible number of points that can be scored by team g that means we have to find the minimum value of x what is the highest possible number of points that can be scored by team a we have to find the maximum value of y so how do we find this see for like if it is a win loss scenario then a team will get three points another team will get zero points match there are three points distributed okay if it's a draw scenario both teams will get one points and two points shall be distributed okay now we are confirmed about 22 matches so in these 22 matches there are 66 points being distributed okay three points for the winners so 66 points because these are win loss scenario now unknown matches so for every match there can be two or maximum three points so two to three points suppose all the remaining matches are draw right imagine that all others are draw so there will be 40 points and suppose all other matches also result in win loss scenario so we have this is the range of points this is the range of points that we have right 40 to 60 is the range of points for the remaining matches okay now we have to find the least possible number of points that can be scored by team g so we have to find the minimum value of x right so we have 36 now if we have to find the minimum value of x we will assume that all other matches are uh, almost like if they are draw so we will get the least value right so 36 plus 2x plus 3y uh, so that is zero only so let us let it be so minimum we will get total 106 to 126 points if all matches are draw unknown matches are draw we will get 106 points if all matches are well lost so we will get 126 points right so that is we get 106 okay now we know that x is equal to x greater than y so if you put let us say we assume x is equal to y that is the the equality scenario so in this case we will get 36 plus 5x is equal to 106 or we get that uh, x is equal to 14 right so in case of equality we have 14 points how we got 14 points that is the minimum possible number of points we are considering right we are considering the minimum total so we are getting 106 as the minimum total so if we consider that x is equal to y that is this team also scoring same points we are getting 14 points but x is greater than y right we assumed at equality case right so if it is 14 14 14 14 then all teams will have 14 and the total is minimum total is 106 so that means x has to be greater than y so we will take the next number which is 15 so 15 is the only number which is possible okay so 14 will have this equilibrium scenario so minimum it should be 15. now let us take the second scenario what is the highest possible number of points that can be scored by team a so we have to find the maximum value of this so in this scenario we will not equate to 106 we will assume that almost all matches have results so we will equate it to 126 okay so here we will get 90 and x is 18 okay but uh, so we are getting x and y x and y equal as 18 but x has to be greater than y so the maximum possible value of x or y if we put x x equal to y we get maximum 18 so y has to be less than 18 so we will take the next just the lowest number we will get 17 so we can have like if you see this scenario so you must be wondering that how is it possible so if we put like let's take the first scenario 36 and if we take uh, this as 15 15 14 14 14 what do we get 42 72 108 we get the total as 108 right if we try to make it less than 15 if we put it 14 we will get 106 but in that case that will become equal 
okay so we cannot have less than that okay we cannot make less than 106 as the total similarly for this higher high value case if we take 36 18 18 17 17 17 right so we have to find the highest value here so we get uh, that is uh, 36 72 72 123 so if we try to make it 18 this will also increase and it will go beyond 126 hence this is the least uh, this is the least possible for g and this is the highest possible for a c a or e okay so that's how we get the uh, the extreme values the minima and maxima okay the next question is which of the following is a valid prediction of the number of points of b and c okay so they have given the valid prediction okay so we basically we are given the values of x and y so we know that 2x plus 3y should be greater than 70 because uh, we saw that this is 106 so 70 points remaining and it should be between these two values between 70 and 90 okay so that has to be the scenario so if you put this so it is 54 plus 20 three three times right so 39 so if we take 54 plus 39 it is 93 okay and it is greater than 90 so not possible if we take this this is 60 plus 3 30 that is 90 again the extreme case it has to be less than 90 okay if we take 60 plus 36 that is 96 again greater than 90 if we take this 54 plus 33 that is 87 so that fits into this range okay, so we should get this less than 90 and that is perfectly fitting here okay so hence that is the answer okay option d is the uh, possible value okay the next is if no match played by b and g results in a draw what is the minimum possible difference between the scores points scored by teams a and g okay now if no match by b or g results in a draw right so how many matches b and g play b and g play 14 matches each okay uh, so b and g we already are aware of uh four matches right so four matches are already known how many matches will they play each they play 12 matches each right so eight more and eight more that is the pending results right so eight plus eight 16 matches okay 16 matches and we will subtract two why because b and g two matches will be b versus g there will be two matches Okay, so we are subtracting those because we counted in B as well as in G. Okay, so there are 14 more matches that have win win loss scenario. Okay, I will come to this part. So uh, it looks a bit occupied. So let's put this part. So, so it says that B and G the matches did not result in a draw. Okay. so earlier we we knowing we were knowing 22 confirmed matches so now we have 14 more confirmed matches 36 confirmed matches that is total of 108 points okay now how many are unknown matches now unknown now we have just six unknown matches right so earlier there were 20 unknown now we know the result of 14 more matches how 14 more so b and g we knew the result of four matches we will we know the result of eight more matches eight more matches 16 but there are two matches b versus g so 14 matches we know the result of so unknown matches are just six okay so total points will be in the range 120 to 126 okay, so total matches has to total uh, because unknown six matches so it is between two to three points okay so if we add 12 that is 120 if we add uh, 18 that is 126 
so we have to find the minimum possible difference between the points scored by a and g so we have to find the minimum possible difference between these two tables okay so 36 is already known now this is very close to the highest number okay so if we take the highest number like we saw the extreme case right if we take 36 18 18 right and we take 17 17 17 how much do we get that is 72 plus 51 123 that fits into this range now if we see we cannot have the difference as zero okay and if you try to reduce it let us say we make the difference 2 then it will become 120 right if you take the difference 2 now it is asking the minimum possible right so if it is asking for a difference of 1 right why should we have take 2 as the difference so minimum we can have 1 as the difference so we saw the maxima case and got the difference as 1 right so these are the answers 15 17 uh, 80, uh, this one option D and the answer to this question is one. So an excellent set based on the concept of uh, maximization and minimization and uh, this is how we find the extreme cases of the score lines.